on the border near Austria and Slovenia. This is where the journey ends for thousands of people. To claim asylum in Austria, it means staying at a camp like this, often for more than two months. It's an improvement on the conditions they've experienced so far, but only just, some say. The Austrian Interior Ministry won't allow us to go inside this camp, but those we've spoken to who stay here say it's overcrowded and that the conditions inside border on the inhumane. If we are in Syria, die in one bump, we are, we are here, die every day. Safa from Syria has now been here for several weeks with her five children. Outside the camp, she told me how she'd seen her family stripped of their dignity. We feel us like animals because they give us numbers. You go in numbers and out with numbers and you sleep together. We come to Austria to find better life, not to find this life. We need to go to houses. We need better life for our kids. Not this. This is not a life. This is not a life, really. This video obtained by Five News shows the cramped conditions inside the Schwarzwalhalla camp. Families have shelter but lack space. But for others here, there is a feeling of relief that their journey is over. Sami, who's Syrian, had to leave his wife and son behind in Turkey. I thank God because I didn't bring them with me because it was a danger way, you know, especially during the sea between, between Turkey and Greece because it was only a rubber boat mm. and with 50 people. It was really un <sighs> unbelievable there. Many others choose to make Germany their final destination. Passau station on the border is where up to 5,000 refugees and migrants currently arrive every day. This is it. The realization of the dream they all had several thousand miles ago. But before they can be redistributed to various parts of the country, they must wait here. We are, uh, we are lucky that we arrived here. We are... Uh, uh, you feel happy to be here, yes, yeah? Yes, we are yeah. happy, yes, we are happy. They are the smiles that say it all. They made it. But in the coming months, their journey will be repeated by hundreds of thousands more. Julian Drucker, Five News, Germany.